H2 receptor antagonist. H2 receptor antagonist is the uh, when I were letting you know about the list of medication which can be used for for the treatment of PUD illness. PUD stands for peptic ulcer disease. Okay. So I told you that PPI as well as antacids, H2 receptor antagonist, all these medication can be used. Among um, all the list of medication, H2 receptor antagonist and antacid were traditionally used and H2 antagonists are OTC available medication for the treatment of peptic ulcer. But after the advent of PPI, majority of the previous medications have been replaced with the PPI because PPI is acting on the main mechanism which is responsible for the production of acidity. If we talk about list of medication, we have four different medications listed as H2 receptor antagonists, simatidine, venetidine, cisatidine and famotidine and I have given uh, only the usual dose for the prevention of stress related bleeding because it is, uh, it is considered as stress related bleeding is considered as a medical emergency as well as the high risk ulcer. So simatidine which is uh, earlier an earlier medication it is given about 50 milligram per hour in the form of continuous infusion continuous infusion okay while uh, dose which is required to achieve more than 50 percent acid inhibition for at least 10 hour is ranging from 400 to 800 milligram i'm not discussing all the medication famotidine famotidine required 20 20 milligram iv every uh, after 12 hour okay if we are going to treat peptic ulcer disease with phenotony, so a low dose means its dose is about 20 milligram IV every after 12 hour. While the dose which is required to achieve 50 percent of acid inhibition for uh, 10 hour is 20 milligram. For acute condition, lower range is given B BID. BID stands for twice per day twice per day. Lower range means if we are going to treat the somatidine, so the lower range is 400 milligram that should be given twice a day in the morning or at the night. I said majority of the uh, uh, doctors are prescribing H2 receptor antagonists for the control of nocturnal hyper, uh, acidity, nocturnal acidity or nocturnal release of HCL. While if we are giving at the night time, so the higher dose is given or the upper range of the drug is given that is about 800 milligram. As far as potency is concerned, uh, famotidine is considered as the highest among all listed medications which are considered to use as an H2 receptor antagonist. Now come to pharmacokinetics and dynamics. In 1970 till 1990, these are used for the peptic ulcer, but with the advent of PPI, their use is declined. While four H2 receptor antagonists are most commonly used in the clinical setting, as far as their serum half life is concerned, all four agents having serum half life about 1.1 to 4 hour yes 1 to 1.4 hour what does it mean serum half life means the concentration of drug is becoming half or 50 percent is eliminated and 50 percent is remaining so that time period is about 1.1 uh, to 4 hour h2 receptor antagonists are cleared by a combination of hepatic metabolism, glomerulus filtration and renal tubular secretion. So that is the point which help you 
to suggest is it safe for the renal uh, problem or renal compromised patient or not because it is passing or eliminating through renal pathway so the dose should be adjusted specifically for the elderly patient as well as elderly people as well as the patient having renal problem or renal insufficiency is it clear kam karna padta hai mechanism of action mechanism of action i will show you the picture of for the mechanism of action uh, this strong h2 receptor antagonist acting by direct increase of acidity or production of uh, hcl as well as by the indirect way if you observe this chart uh, there are three receptors which we uh, discussed in the beginning that h2 receptor cckb receptor and m3 receptors okay m3 receptors are stimulated or accelerated by acetylcholine secretion while gastrin or g cells are is releasing gastrin and the receptor where the gastrin is acting is cckb receptor there is an internal second messenger system which is communicating from the external uh, stimulatory agent to pass the messages for the production of acidity so the internal mechanism or cell cell mechanism for m3 and ckb is to stimulate gq type of internal system that will ultimately initiate ip3 that is inositol triphosphate a second messenger which can facilitate the calcium concentration inside and ultimately it will act upon hydrogen potassium adipase is it clear so this will transmit hydrogen potassium in a hydrogen molecule inside along with that chloride are co-transported and will synthesize hcl same phenomena can occur when histamine receptors are activated so histamine when directly activated it will stimulate gs type of protein in the internal uh, cellular area which will act upon having a positive effect on cyclic amp another type of second messenger and then it will act on hydrogen and potassium adipase this is the mechanism of h2 receptor by a direct way indirect way is that it is written in the book that it can also stimulate both these receptor gastrin and acetylcholine in the indirect way when it is initiated when h2 receptors are in initiating ultimately it is also giving a stimulus to release gastrin as well as acetylcholine to act on the receptor so by two mechanism it is acting to release hcl so once we block with the help of as the drug is given over uh, in the chart that cemetidine is blocking histamine and atropine is blocking uh, acetylcholine while omeprazole uh, which is a ppi it is blocking this main mechanism which is responsible for the acid production so directly it will act on the h2 receptor and indirectly it will block gastrin and acetylcholine receptor so the mechanism or dynamic of this drug is to control hcl by two mechanisms is it clear is it all inhibit 60 to 70 percent of total 24 hour acid secretion impact of h2 blocker on acid ph raising is more at nocturnal and fasting acidity while meal time ph raising effect is lower so therefore h2 receptors are suitable if they are given at the night time means they are more efficacious if they are given night time because their impact on on raising ph is lower after meal time acidity production cemetidine dose is 400 to 800 it reduces acidity for about 10 hour and cemetidine is uh, controlling at 20 mg 
the same uh, acidity hours that is 10 hours now clinical uses it is an otc medication heavily used by the public as an otc medication used for the control of gastroesophageal reflux disease heartburn dyspepsia what kind of dyspepsia that is fewer than three times per week occur that dyspepsia which occurred fewer than three times per week reduce rapidly this type of dyspepsia and GERD or heartburn can be reduced by using antacids antacids are also the traditional medication which are used for the control of heartburn and acidity but their duration of action is very minimum so uh, compliance of patient will not good in that case if we are using uh, antacid if you recall three uh, 409 course uh, when you have studied about drug delivery system i don't know but you must know about the compliance of patient being pharmacist this is your responsibility to decide what kind of patient can take what formulation what type of formulation for example if we are giving tablet form to the kids it is not suitable their compliance will never be good for the tablet uh, dosage form so it is always preferred that the children should be given what kind of formulation syrup uh, and as well as suspensions similarly at the elderly stage or if the patient is having any problem related with swallowing so in that case either IV route of administration is preferred and uh, solution or syrups are preferred so antacid can be given in that case but their duration of action is minimum that is about one to two hour as compared to H2 receptor antagonist uh, which is having duration of action about 10 hours okay six or six so um, if it is taken prophylactically before meal then such type of effect or such duration of action can be achieved frequent heartburn is better treated with twice daily H2 receptor antagonist or PPI but keep remember PPIs are always preferred over H2 receptor antagonist at night time double dose is given while in day time doses are divided into two doses morning mein or night mein. and we use the term HS for night time or nocturnal control of hyperacidity it is also useful for the treatment of peptic ulcer disease PPI have already replaced H2 receptor antagonist in the treatment of acute peptic ulcer disease nevertheless H2 antagonists are still sometimes used nocturnal acid suppression by H2 antagonists afford effective ulcer healing by administrating once daily at the bed time resulting in ulcer healing rate is more than 80 percent and 90 percent after six to eight weeks of therapy means h2 receptor and non ulcer dyspepsia non ulcer dyspepsia may use as an otc medication prevention of bleeding from stress related gastritis continuous infusion in such case is given of H2 receptor antagonists which are generally preferred to bolus infusion because they achieve more consistent sustained elevation of intragastric intragastric levels for example pH can be controlled about 50 mg per hour con continuous infusion means it can enhance the pH level up to uh, 6 to 7 if it is given in intravenous infusion form about 50 mg per hour now adverse effects this drug again like PPI is considered as a safer drug while somatidine it is a potent inhibitor of cytochrome P450. It 
इट इज एन एंटी एंड्रोजेनिक प्रोडक्ट एच टू रिसेप्टर एंटागनिस्ट जो है इट इज एक्टिंग ऑन एंड्रोजन हॉर्मोन एंड एंटागनाइजिंग दॉर्मोन विच विल रिजल्ट इन गाना को मेस्टिया दैट इज एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ ब्रेस्ट एंड इम्पोर्टेंस इन द मेल वाइल इट विल रिजल्ट इन फीमेल गैलेक्टोरिया दैट इज द डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम द नेपल इन द फीमेल इट कैन क्रॉस ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर विच विल रिजल्ट इन कन्फ्यूजन डिजनेस एंड हेड एक सो इट इज अवॉइडेड इन एल्डरली एंड मेंटली अनस्टेबल पीपल अलॉन्ग विद दैट इट कैन क्रॉस प्लासेंटल वॉल एंड इट कैन क्रॉस प्लासेंटा सो इट इज नॉट गिवन टू दी फीमेल कंसीविंग और इन स्पेसिफिकली इन दी अर्ली ट्राई मैस्टर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी वेन दी एम्ब्रियनिक डिवेलपमेंट इज स्टार्टिंग अगेन एट बर्स्ट ड्रग रिएक्शन सेमाटिडीन या रेनेटिडीन डिक्रीज क्रिएटिन एंड क्लियरेंस अदर एच टू रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकर है प्योर साइड इफेक्ट ब्लॉकेट ऑफ कार्डियक एच टू रिसेप्टर मे कॉज ब्रेडी कार्डिया बिकॉज एच टू रिसेप्टर आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन दी हार्ट वॉल सो इट मे लीड टू कॉज ब्रेडी कार्डिया यूज फॉर द लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम As far as drug interactions are concerned, simatidine interferes with the several important important hepatic cytochrome P450 drug. Because it is metabolized by cytochrome P450 enzyme system, so uh, this system is the main metabolic pathway for the several drugs. Half life of the drug metabolized by these pathway may be prolonged. all those drugs which are metabolized by these enzymes which are present in the uh, cyto hepatic level or cytochrome p450 system so all those drugs which are using the same pathway they can they can or their action can be prolonged if we are giving cimetidine along with the other drug ranitidine by 4 to 10 time less and negligible cytochrome interaction occur with nizatidine and famotidine so these are considered as safer as compared to simatidine h2 receptor antagonists compete with creatinine and certain drug jisme ki procainamide for renal tubular secretion inhibit gastric first pass metabolism of ethanol ye this is for specific for those countries they are using alcohol uh, as their okay today is here opportunity to build tomorrow you want okay uh, here we have wanted up h2 receptor antagonist in the next class inshallah we will start with antacids any question in today's lecture